are on the Devil's River, down a 26-mile county road. Pretty rough, pretty wild place, hard to get to. Let me just see which is the best way really quick. This is Ruthie Russell. I don't want everyone to get scratched. And this is her husband, Johnny. Does that mean you want followers or? Yeah, we need followers. <laughs> the Russells own 8,700 acres along the Devil's River. They call it Sycamore Canyon Ranch. When we first came here, this was a wilderness. I mean, there was nobody. One of our best views is from over there. We look at this as a wilderness area, a wild area. We want to preserve it, we want to protect it, and it's just the perfect wild place to protect. Look at this one, it looks haunted. In order to preserve the land and their investment, the Russells put the ranch under a conservation easement. This is the endangered snow bell. The easement will keep this land whole, undivided and undeveloped forever. Driving into this ranch, there's a sign for 100 acre lots. You wouldn't think it, but it's way out here in the middle of, of nowhere. Fragmentation is a huge threat to water and wildlife in this state, and yet we don't really see it happening. It's like a silent cancer. Historically, this was a sheep and goat ranch. Today, the Russells run it more as a natural area. This property has been overgrazed for 100 years, so the prickly pear is growing up. It comes in on overgrazed and overused sites. Leaving that alone is not going to fix that problem, so we have to come in and do active management there. This is Netleaf Forestera, and that's Evergreen Sumac, both of which deer use out here and all dad use. And you can tell the ranch does generate the some income. Stephen Broussard has the lone hunting lease on the property. We have limited views in Louisiana. It's typically woody country. Here you can see for miles. Very wild, still very rugged. That appeals to me. This is one of our wildlife watering sites. We build up with rocks so that small creatures can access and exit. We think more in holistic terms. We're not trying to improve one particular aspect of the property. We're trying to improve it all. Oh man, I had a bite right there. Sycamore Canyon Ranch now belongs to the Russell's sons, William and McLean. <laughs> it's been a tough day. And where second or third generation landowners may not always share the same vision as the original owners, that's not the case here. My brother and I were both raised on ranches and in the outdoors. It would never have crossed our minds had this not been put under a conservation easement to sell this land. Having an opportunity to be able to make the most out of our land and keep it as pristine as we can, the bigger the chance or the possibility is of this wilderness surviving. That's the future of Texas, that these next generations have that same love of the land that the first generation has. Perpetuity is a long time. When you're in your 20s, you're not thinking perpetuity. They are. All right, Johnny, you have to smile a little bit, okay? okay. For the Russells, all of them, the opportunity to preserve, protect, and enjoy this land is something that they hope other Texans will do as well. We don't want that fragmentation to occur here. We love the open spaces. And you really can't protect water, wildlife, and habitat without big open spaces. If I were a billionaire, I'd buy as many ranches as I could and protect them. <laughs>